Hi everyone, today we're going to do my Ipsy vs. Birchbox unboxing. In case you do not know, Ipsy and Birchbox are both $10 monthly subscription services. Um, I have had both of them for a really long time. I'm happy with both of them. However, I will go ahead and say this month will be the last Ipsy vs. Birchbox because I did go ahead and sign up for the Sephora Play. Now, if you've been on my channel for a while, you'll know I had it. And then um, I switched debit cards. My debit card just died. And for whatever reason, it didn't like... I thought that I had, you know, changed all the information. I knew it wouldn't just automatically do it, obviously. Um, but I thought I had changed all the information on it, but apparently it didn't take or something. I don't really know. All I know is I stopped getting those. Um, but I have signed up for it again. I'm really excited about that. But this month we still just have Ipsy and Birchbox. I have some little, my little notes. So let's start off with Birchbox. The box this month is pretty cute. It's kind of just like floral and blue. It's pretty. I mean, it's it's a little grandma -y, if we're being honest, but it's cute. Um, and it says, Hey, y'all, in honor of Women's History Month, Draper Jones, my Southern-inspired lifestyle brand, and I have teamed up with Birchbox in order to bring you a box we're calling Pretty Mighty. It may look dainty, but inside you'll find powerful, high-performing products for equally pr powerful women just like you. Hope you enjoy. Reese. So I guess it's from the owner of Draper Jones, um, and it's Southern inspired, whatever that, I mean, well, I know what that means, obviously. Um, I am in the South. I'm from, I'm from Georgia right now. I live in Savannah. Uh, so I did go ahead and get five products, one of which I already have, um, and so it'll be going in a giveaway, and it's the benefit there real beyond mascara. I am posting a giveaway really soon, um, and this is a mascara I have tried, and I've used up one. And it's extremely highly hyped, so I feel like a lot of people are probably really excited to get this in their box. However, to me, it's not one of my favorites. I don't love a rubber bristle wand. I don't know if I'm just kind of dumb, like, but I can't ever seem to get it right. Like, it just, it hurts, and then it's really hard to take off. But I do like the end look, if that makes sense. I have done a full video where I compared this to a drugstore brand. Um, a Rimmel one, and so I'll link that below in case you want to see it on my eyes. I don't hate this my mascara by any means, but it's not my favorite, and so I don't want to open it and use it if I don't if I already know it's not my favorite, um, and already have like a ton of mascaras in my back stock. So this will be going in a giveaway. Next, I got this, which is the Well People Bio Brightening Cream in the shade Universal Glow. So this is a cream highlight. Oh, I forgot to mention the value of this. Uh, mascara is eight dollars and fifty seven cents. It is not quite the same size as if you order on Sephora and you order a mini mascara. Um, it's slightly smaller. Just so you know, you can normally order a mascara for ten dollars, I believe, and that size is zero point one four ounces, and this is size zero point one ounces. So just so you know, it's not exactly that same size. So now back to this. This is the Well People. Bio Brightening Cream Universal Glow. So it is a cream highlighter. And it's kind of a very neutrally, slightly gold shade. Um, I don't, I'm not opposed to cream highlighters. I'm digging. And it looks okay. It just doesn't really add that much and it feels really greasy. So, it's a very, I mean, I, if you watched, I did do a top five favorite highlighter move, uh, video. I'll link that below in case you want to see it. And I am very into like a more natural highlight. I don't need something that's like, hey girl, got some glitter on my face. I like more of a glowy highlight. Think Laura Mercier highlight. Um, Laura Mercier highlighting powder in 01 highlight. The matte radiance one. Um, hello, where are you Laura Mercier? Oh. Right in front of my face. This one, love it. Um, I'll link that top five favorite highlighter videos down below. But that's kind of what I do like. But this just, it really doesn't show up that well. I don't know, I haven't used it on my face yet. Um, just because I am trying to pan a highlighter. Um, if you keep up with my 17 and 17, I'll link uh, the most recent update down below. I am trying to pan that, so I haven't tried this yet. Um, it is valued at $8, which is decent. Oh, however, I will say that is an estimate. The full-sized well stick, oh, well highlighter comes in a stick. 
and it's a six gram stick and there is nowhere on this product or on um, my little card or anything that says what size is in here so I guess it's about two grams I think that's a fair estimate so that would put it priced at um, eight dollars mm. then I have used up or I haven't used up excuse me I got the real chemistry fresh start foaming cleanser I do not like this so this brand is really known for they have like um an exfoliator that a lot of people love I tried this cleanser and it gives you that really squeaky clean feeling. I mean, I could literally like move my fingers on my face when it was wet and it would squeak. I mean, hardcore squeaky clean. And I know some people really like that. So if you do, then you will probably love this cleanser. I don't like that. I have drier skin. I like to feel moisturized at all times. So this wasn't for me, but it was cool to try. This is a nicer brand. Um, and this size is kind of small, honestly. Like... It's 0 0.5 fluid ounces or 15 mils. So I've used it like three times and I'm already like down to here. So I will, I mean, that's kind of disappointing, but it is valued at $3. I think I already said that. So it's okay. And then the next two products are where a lot of the value of this box comes in. Um, but I, I don't know, I'm not like the most excited about them. And it's actually a shampoo and conditioner. Now I really like that they gave us really decent size shampoo and conditioners. A lot of times, Ooh, excuse me, they'll give us either one or the, I, I like that they gave us both. Um, but a lot of times they'll give us a shampoo and then like a little foil packet of the conditioner. And it's like, okay, well I can use them together like twice, but I don't really know how I feel about that. These are really, really nice sizes. This is 75 um, mils and this is 80 mils. And they are by Kerastase. And we have the Fondant Fluid at least Smooth in Motion Care Rinse Out. So this is pretty much their conditioner. Um, they call it something real fancy, but it's pretty much a conditioner. It says you can like do it out of the shower, like you can just on towel dried hair, but then you have to rinse it out. So I just use it in the shower. I kind of like wrung out my hair and then put it in. Um, and then we have the Kerastase Ben Fluidelist Smooth in Motion Shampoo. And these are both supposed to help fluidity, shine, and anti-frizz. Um, I hate the smell of these. Hate it. It smells like dirty peanuts. Like, not like, mmm, delicious boiled peanuts like we're at a football game and we're just like snacking. Like, I love that. This smells like you just pulled out some peanuts from the ground, there's still some dirt on them, and you're putting it in your hair. So I don't love that. Um, I also think the packaging of this is really weird. This is great. It's a squeezy tube. You can get a lot of use out of it. Why would you put a shampoo in this kind of packaging? I mean, it's cute, but like... You just got to dump it out. Yeah, really don't like that scent. I love Hippo. Hippo um, does like the scent. He is all about the dirty peanut smell. And I did look online, and this is the packaging for a full size. So I just stored it upside down in my shower. Um, so I did mention this is where a lot of the value of the box comes from. On the Kerastase website, they do sell this exact size. Um, and they are travel friendly, which is neat, because um, I don't want to say it's a national, uh, an international standard. I hate when my hair just says, hey girl, I'm going to go to the wrong side today. <laughs> what? Okay, just stay over there. That's fine. Whatever. Um, so in the U.S. you can't travel with something over three fluid ounces. And these two are 2.5 and 2.71. So that's cool. But these each retail for $20.50 a piece. So that's a lot of money. To me, for some shampoo and conditioner that doesn't really smell very good. Kerastase does have a like a mask that I is probably my holy grail mask that I've ever tried. Um, so I, I mean I don't hate this brand. I just these did not impress me. So um, all in all, that box was t valued at sixty dollars and fifty seven cents, which is a really good value, especially considering I paid ten dollars for it. So I'm happy with that. I know I kind of crapped on those products and it wasn't I didn't love any of the products in this box however this well people highlighter is cool to try I mean they're all cool things to try it's not like anything was just like well what the heck what am I gonna do with this so you know I mean these are just my honest opinions but I don't want y'all to think that I like, hate this box it's just this month there was anything that I was super excited to try and when I did try it I don't love it
So next we have my Ipsy bag. So this bag is kind of cute. It's like a faux suede and it bends over and it has this weird mesh thing. I don't love the mesh part, but I like the, the shape of the bag. Um, and it has like a rose gold zipper. And I got five products. The theme of the box is You Are Beautiful. Pass it on. Um, and it says pretty is as pretty does. Share this card with someone. So there we go. Um, so it's cute. It's not a bad bag. It's fine. Um, and let's just check out what I have in here. I have the Beauty Gauchis, uh blending brush. And I really like this. You can tell it's well used. I have, okay, I got uh, something else in this brand and it was a beauty blender. And I also had a black beauty blender, beauty blender. And I don't know which one is which because they're both really good. However, it's not like a, I think the Beauty Gau Gauchis, I don't even think I'm saying that one right, but that's how I'm going to say it. Um, I think that one was also $20, so it's not really a deal. But if you get a beauty blender from them, it's good. Um, but this blending brush is super soft and nice. And I've been using it, so this is my Bronze and the Beautiful palette uh, that I'm trying to pan. And... In my Chocolate Soleil, I've been using that as my crease shade every day, as like kind of a transition crease. So I put that in and I would just blend it out with this. And it doesn't spread the product out too far like some blending brushes do. Um, but it does blend really nicely. I don't know. I really love this. Big fan. And at first I was like, I just got this blending brush by Lab not that long ago from y'all. So like, I do say I like brushes because I do, but I'm like, but I don't need the same brush over and over again. But this one is great. I'm really happy I have that. And the next product is, funnily enough, another Milk to Foam cleanser. So this one is a foaming cleanser, and this one's a foaming cleanser as well. This is by the brand Neogen, um, and this comes with 25 mils, so it's slightly more. I like this one better than the Real Start one I got in my Birch Box. But this one is also slightly drying. Oh, $12. Sorry, guys. $12. Um, I did find that this one was slightly drying. Um, but it's nicer than the other one. And it does foam a lot. I don't feel like the Real Start one from my Birch Box really foamed at all. But this one does. Um, and this one is valued at $6.33. Okay. So then the next product. I got to pull out a couple of things for this one. The next product is my Ico Fat Eye Eye Stick in the shade Satin. Now, if you have been a part of my channel for a long time, you'll know that I actually already own this. So this is also going in my giveaway. I own a Fat Eye Stick Trio. So the Trio, you can get all three of these for $15. And that's how they sell it online. However, they value one of them at $12. So if you want, if you're interested in this product, get the trio. I have done a full review of this on my channel, so I'll link it below. But all in all, they're really great. I like them. I think they're really pigmented. So the shade that we actually got in the box is satin, so I'm going to swatch that one for you. It's a beautiful, really shimmery kind of taupe shade. Um, but these really last well on the eyelids, and they don't crease on me. So I think they're really great cream shadows. I love cream shadows. Um, and it was cool to get this. Again, I did already have it, so it was slightly disappointing. Kind of like the um, Benefit one. Like, if this would have been Benefit Bad Gal, I've never tried it. I'd be really excited. Um, but I do already have this one, but that's okay. I mean, it's still a great product, and I think that a lot of people will like it. Um, and again, there it is. And if I also have the shade Guilt and... What is this black one? I can't... I can never remember. Uh, what are you called? Guilt, yeah. And you are smoke. So I have satin, guilt, and smoke, which I think from looking online might be the only three shades they offer. Um, but they're really great. So go ahead and check out that review if you want more information. But it was cool to get one of those in my bag. The next product I got is by Mark Anthony. I feel like we've gotten quite a few products from him before. Um, and it is their Deep Repair Aloe Vera Jasmine um, Conditioning Treatment. So this was, uh, you know, a deep repair mask. It did smell really nice. Yeah, it's like a very sweet, slightly floral scent. Um, so I really enjoyed the scent of it. As far as how it performed as an actual deep conditioner, I haven't noticed anything amazing. I still like the Kerastase one a lot better. But Mark Anthony is a more inexpensive brand. Um, 
and you can get it at Ulta. This is valued at $2.99. Um, and it's actually, if you go to Mark, like to Ulta, you'll know they sell the like foil packet samples of a lot of hair masks. And this is the same one. This is like the same size as those foil packets. It's just in a squeezy tube. So it's a, it's a lot better use. And I think I have a decent amount of hair. It's not ridiculously long, but it's pretty thick. Um, and I definitely think I can get like three or four uses or like probably four or five actually. Um, and this is valued at $2.99. And last but not least, I got another really exciting product, and it is by Tarte, and it is the Tartist Lip Paint in the shade Rosé. So this is a newer brand, a newer product. I mean, it's not super new, but it's, like, not something that you probably have 75 of. Um, and it is by Tarte, which is a really nice brand. Um, it has, they have these little chair applicators. And it's kind of a deeper brown shade. Now, I did, I think it was um, a coupon code or a gift with purchase. I do already have one of these in the shade, what's this shade? Namaste, that's what I thought. And it does have a different applicator, so I don't know if they've changed it or if just the mini has that. So I did already have this shade. They both smell really minty and nice. I did want to mention, you can tell... They're very, very different on when swatched, but in the two, they look pretty similar. So if you're interested in getting these, I do highly recommend swatching them and not just going by the color in the two. Um, as I mentioned, I had already owned Namaste, and I noticed that it was really drying and really showed off the cracks in all my lips, but it's a very light color. So I was hoping with Rosé, which is the one I actually got in this box, just to clarify, um, that it wouldn't do that. It might still be drying, but I wouldn't see all those, you know, lines in your lips. But I did. Um, it did all, we did kind of have this cold snap. Um, I think pretty much the whole country did. Uh, so maybe it's because it was cold. I'm definitely not saying I wouldn't wear it again, but it's not my favorite liquid lipstick formula. There's the swatch of it. And it is valued at $3.33. And just for some comparison, this is one mil, what I got in my Ipsy. And the one that I had gotten previously as a mini from Sephora is actually three mils. And this is half of the size. And this is obviously a sixth of the size. And again, $3.33. Which brings my Ipsy bag total to $36.65. Which is a lot less than what they usually are. Usually Ipsy bags are about $50 of value. Um, so this month we had a little bit less, but that's okay. Um, I still would say that between my Ipsy and my Birchbox, I definitely liked my ipsy bag better i just thought the products were more exciting um and yeah i'm just more interested in it honestly so i hope that you enjoyed this i hope you enjoyed knowing how much everything was worth i think that's really important um if you have any questions about any of these products or anything else let me know if there's anything you want to see on my channel go ahead and let me know i always want to make videos that y'all want to see um so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see y'all real soon bye